Tammy, she took a great mark with 10 seconds to go. From uh, then on, can you maybe talk us through from your point of view uh, what happened, what was going through your head? Oh, look, obviously it was a pretty intense close game and yeah, I was lucky enough to take the mark at the end and it's every kid's dream, let to kick a goal after the siren and yeah, I just went back and tried to stick the basics, stick to my routine and, and kick the goal, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be and you know, it's obviously very disappointing and it's been a tough 24 hours, but yeah, you've got to move forward and look forward to for this for this week this week when you took that mark did you have any idea sort of how long there was on the clock did you think you still had a couple of minutes or um no i knew it was pretty close to the end the uh one of the runners or the trainers ran out and said there's 10 seconds to go so i realized i might as well take my time and then try and slot it but yeah unfortunately uh, it didn't go through and you know it would have been great to kick it it's, a, it's been a childhood dream to kick a goal after siren but yeah it's going to move on and now yeah, look forward to this sunday against gws when, just maybe if you can take us through that kick, did, did you know straight away or was it, what sort of kick was it? Um, uh, well usually I kick a few, uh, few pies in the sky when I kick a goal, so it came with a drop punt, so it was probably a little bit of trouble, so it came off really nice, my routine was, was fine and I've seen the replay and just unfortunately it slid to the right and yeah, you know, hopefully next time we we'll ever get in that position I can kick a goal. And just having a look at that replay, it looked like afterwards you, you just sort of wanted to get off the ground straight away, did the boys have to sort of come around you or what happened? Um, obviously, I was, just, I was very disappointed not to kick the goal, and you know, I was curious to wonder. It's a massive game, round one against Essendon, and I guess you're a little bit embarrassed and you know a little bit disappointed that you haven't kicked the goal, and you feel like you've let your team down as well. So I know that's not everything in the game. A lot of things could have changed as well, but I was just incredibly disappointed and wanted to get off and I guess just <laughs> move on and, and go home and go to bed really. But you know, you wake up the next day and, and you move on, and yeah, you look forward to, to this week. Brighter night, a bright, brighter note. I mean, just the fact that you were out there and uh, how did you pull up uh, from injury? Obviously, missing a whole year of footy. Yeah, no, pulling out really well. I've got through all the games in the preseason. The form's been okay. Uh, on Saturday night, the form wasn't too good. I don't think I played too well, and so I need to improve on that a little bit. But um, no, it's just good to be back out there and not stuck in the rehab, the rehab room and on the bike and in the pool. It's just great to be playing footy again with, you know, with 45 new mates out in the training track, and that's what you love most. What did Brad Scott say to you? Um, oh, as you said, you know, he's not really like anyone could have really said to me about um, him missing the goal, you know. So I was just incredibly disappointed, but he said, you know, tomorrow's a new day, you, you move forward and you know, look forward to bouncing back and you know, getting a win this week and getting a season started against CWS. Did you get any advice, Hamish, before you took the kick from, from your teammates? To be honest, it was that loud, yeah. I, I couldn't hear a thing out there, so I was, I was just mainly my, talking to myself and making sure I just go back and, yeah. and do the simple things and make sure I stick to my routine. and. Yeah, hope to kick the goal, and yep. yeah, but unfortunately, uh, as we all know, uh, it yep. sailed right. What about in the rooms afterwards? The teammates sort of got around you and sort of, I suppose, let you know it wasn't uh, wasn't your fault. Yeah, yeah, no. The, I must admit, the support I've had and um, the amount of messages I've had over the last 24 to 48 hours has been unbelievable, and it's a bit overwhelming to be honest. Yep. So it's great to see so many people care and make sure you're, you're all right, and you know it was just great, and it, it makes you feel a lot better about yourself. So. And in the end, you know, now I'm ready to get back in the training today and help the boys hopefully get a win this week. Yep. How did you find back out there with, with Todd? Um, obviously under the, the sub rule, I know you played the one game last year, but uh, did it feel a little bit different, sort of, um, I suppose, rotating a bit more heavily through the forward line? Um, yeah, I guess it's just back to the role we played in 2010. So we, we played a lot more forward and, and ruck, so it's just getting used to our, our partnership again. And through the preseason, it worked pretty strongly. I thought on the weekend, Todd and I got outplayed by Rider on Hill, so it's you know we're gonna have to have a big week on the track this week and yep. look to bounce back this week and yeah, hopefully uh, get back to some of our best form that we showed through the preseason. Head to Tassie this weekend, it's almost the start of a, a new era for the club, isn't it? So no, it's, it's it's very exciting. I think it's a, it's a great initiative and great thing the club have done, and uh, we're excited about our two games down there at Hobart, and it, it starts this week um, against GWS, and hopefully we get a big crowd down there, a big Kangas turnout, and it'll be uh, yeah, great to see us get our first win of the season. Did you get any sleep Saturday night? Uh, no, no, I was, my eyes were pretty much uh, popping out of my head here on Sunday. I didn't I heard about the kick run through my head about 2,000 times and 2,000 different scenarios. So I could tell you exactly where it floated, exactly where it finished, where, who punched it on the line. So um, no, I didn't get too much sleep, but uh, no, last night I definitely slept pretty well. Would you love to have another crack at it? Oh, I definitely. I'd love to, uh, yeah, I'd love to kick the goal. and Obviously, it's every kid's dream, but unfortunately it turned into a nightmare for me on the weekend. But I guess if I ever had the chance again, I'd love to um, yeah, slot it through the middle. and and see the, uh, see the great feeling you get from doing that. Did you have a couple of shots at uh, recovery yesterday? No, no, I didn't do too much at recovery yesterday. I was um, a bit, uh, yeah, just a bit, a bit sore, but I'm sure I'll get out here this week and yeah. for re revise the kick again and hope to kick it through. And then yeah, next time, hopefully, I'll slot it through the middle.